There is nothing more precious than a child's life. When we see a child, our hearts are filled with gladness. When we hear a child's laughter, we feel blessed and hopeful, and we remember what a joy it is to live. But when we hear a sad story about a child, our hearts are easily broken. We feel for the child, but sometimes facts are too glaring and wishing that they are not true is not enough. In the Philippines, one in every 20,000 babies appears quite normal at birth but eventually develops a condition called rare disorders. Rare disorders are long-standing, life-threatening, progressive and disabling conditions that require multidisciplinary care that afflict babies in all social economic classes. Patients with rare disorders have been considered as social and medical orphans. They literally suffer from social abandonment because of the lack of existing networks of support to help them. Francine, Fatima, Erica, and Decoy have put faces to countless, nameless Filipino children who are helpless victims of rare diseases and face serious challenges. The high costs of treatment and medication are beyond the reach of most Filipino families. For the few who may have the means, optimum care is still elusive due to the scarcity of specialists and facilities that can effectively handle their special needs. And the genetic nature of these disorders makes research painstakingly long and difficult. Aside from the groundbreaking efforts of the PSOD, the Philippines joined the ranks of countries such as the United States, the European Union, Australia, Japan, and Taiwan, who have addressed the need of promoting awareness and supporting diagnostics and treatment of orphan disease. The Rare Disorder Act of the Philippines has been filed. The pressing need to create public awareness and action for rare diseases is truly inspiring. Truly, there is so much that must be done for victims of orphan diseases. We can show the world that it's simple to save life. We just have to act. Now. For these children and for the children of our children.